Let's talk about those road closures that Crash was talking about moments ago. Right now, they remain in place around the state capitol building. After a construction crew earlier today struck a six-inch gas main near Piedmont Avenue, the leak caused the capitol building, including Governor Brian Kemp and First Lady Marty Kemp, to evacuate. Other people in nearby buildings were told to shelter in place there. Atlanta Fire says that the leak does not present an explosion risk. 11 Live's Joe Hinky joining us for this story with more information on this. Uh, we know that those in the area might be interested in knowing what's going on. What do we know, Joe? Well, Faith, uh, about five or ten minutes ago, we received a, a good update from Atlanta Gaslight. They said that the gas leak uh, at the area of the gas leak, the gas has now been shut off. It is deemed safe out here. Once again, you can see behind me uh, uh, state and local law enforcement. They're controlling this intersection here. This is MLK running alongside me about a block up in front of the Capitol is Piedmont. For several hours today, both these roads have been closed, but I'm told momentarily we should see one lane on each street reopen. So traffic during the rush hour right now can start moving again and being out here you definitely knew there was a gas line that broke earlier today you could smell as the wind would change the smell of natural gas in the area we want to show you some video this is from earlier today what you are seeing there Atlanta fire tells me is vapor coming off from the gas line where it broke the fire department says this all happened around nine this morning a construction crew working in the area struck a uh, gas line about five feet underground the contractor that stuck struck the line is unrelated from Atlanta gas light which has now been working to fix the leak they say the damage up there is extensive and they'll be working to repair it for some time Atlanta Fire earlier today asked people to avoid the area as a precaution. As you mentioned, some buildings, the Sloppy Floyd building, which has several state government offices inside of it, they were asked to shelter in place, as was uh, nearby churches and other buildings. But right now, the good news is the gas has been shut off. The repair will take some time, but we should see lanes reopening here momentarily, so traffic can start moving somewhat or close to regular during the rush hour. Right now, we'll send it back to you in studio.